What is up guys? Happy Saturday, happy weekend. I am here a little late again uh, this Saturday morning for this weekend chat. I'm going to try and do this in one take today because I am running behind schedule. Ironically, because I was doing shit this morning that kind of ties into the notes I was taking. Um, I'm trying to stay in one spot because I'm trying something new with my camera. I'm trying to do well, this is what I did this morning. So I woke up and I was like, oh, I really want to, you know, because I was playing with my camera last night. I like went out, was taking pictures. I got the new iPhone 8 Plus, not sponsored. Um, and I was taking pictures and I had my, had this camera with me too. And I was like, you know, watching tutorials and blah, blah, blah. And uh, I was like, oh, like it'd be cool if I did like a blurred background and then like, I was more front and center. I don't know. So I was watching tutorials and playing with it and then trying to figure out what I was doing. And then like I ruined all my settings and I was like, well, I need to go to Dunkin'. So that's exactly what we did. So I think like if I go too far back, I'll blur. But then if I come like right here, I don't, whatever. If it flops, it flops. Ah, I've got my Dunkin' Donuts. Also not sponsored. If you watched my chat yesterday, I did a video yesterday about how I got suspended from Twitter. So that was probably the biggest thing that happened to me this week. Also on Watch What Happens Live, Pink told a story about how Christina Aguilera tried to fight her in a club and I gagged and screamed. I'm honestly surprised you could not hear me scream on the footage because I, I yelped so loud it like echoed through the entire studio. Legends. Not this past week, but the week before that, because you guys didn't get a weekend chat last week. Weekend. Um, I was just overwhelmed with stuff. I mean, we had so much going on, like at work, work at my job. Then I had all these new creative ideas, and then all these ideas for videos. I mean, I think I talked about it on here. I was like, I want to do this, and I want to film this, I want to film this, and I just had a notebook and I was writing down ideas and typing out ideas and just so many and just trying to figure out, you know, when should I, when can I, can I film these? And then when should I post them? And I want to do a Britney one for the blackout anniversary next week. And then my monthly favorites and then a Britney Jean anniversary video. Like I just had so many ideas for things to do and just felt like I had no time. And I, um, then I also in the mail I got, uh, which I'm going to show you guys is a project that I worked on weeks ago that actually finally came to fruition. And I shared it on Instagram, but I have the actual product here. And, um, so I got that in the mail and then my, you know, the designer in me was like, Oh my God, I want to design this and this and this and this. And I, <laughs> you guys, I just, my brain fried. I mean, I, you know, I do videos and I do YouTube and I'm a graphic designer and I do photography on my Instagram and it's just, there's <laughs> a lot. Um, but anyway, I want to show you guys, I designed uh, two sets of nail wraps, which you're going to say sounds so random. And the reaction from most people was, oh my God, like you, you're a designer. Like people, I, nobody, I feel like no one knows that about me, that I went to design school. I grew up an artist as a kid. I was... I did painting, I went to art classes, I did art school, I did art club. Um, you know, I did wood shop, I did all kinds of creative crafts. Oh, oh my God, I loved my crafts class. Oh, there was such a good fight in one of my crafts class once. I should tell that story one day. Oh, um, just sidetrack. But anyway, um, my old boss from Viacom that I worked with on Drag Race, um, he now owns his company and we collaborate like every now and then on freelance stuff. So he asked me to design nail wraps. And so I did. And I'll insert a like close up uh, of them so you can see the detailing on them. But this one is, they're for Halloween. So they're Halloween themed, but I mean, you could wear them year round, honestly. This one is, I'm a mouse, duh which is obviously inspired by Mean Girls and is lace and bunny ears. And then this one is Freak the Freak, which is inspired by the Circus Tour and Freaky by Trisha Paytas. 
Um, and freak, like freak show, like the whole, um, if you guys went to the circus tour, the freak show segment, like, I mean, if you look at these, like the, these are obviously inspired by the stage and the colors and the lighting and like the intro with the curtains and you, like you guys know, you Britney fans will see it and know exactly what it is. And if you watch the freaky music video, the colors fit in with that too. But anyway, self promo, shameless. I don't care. I'm so proud of them. And I'm going to actually wear the freaky ones next weekend for Halloween. With that said, I like, this is one of the things that, you know, came in the mail and I was like, oh my God, I want to do this. Like all new ideas. And I, it, it's a blessing and it's a curse because on one hand, obviously I feel grateful that my brain is still working after, you know, smashing my head three friggin' times in my life. Um, you know, my brain still works. So I'm, I'm grateful for, I mean, for now. <laughs> so it, it still works. And, but the curse is I get so overwhelmed that like, I, I don't know what to work on and I don't know what to do and when to do it and when to start it and what should come first and what I should prioritize and what should be on the back burner. Um, and I just, uh, I mean, it really overwhelmed me. So, well, to give you guys a context of what I do on a normal week to decompress, a normal week, my Friday is like most people's Saturdays. That's my, my, my first weekend day is Friday. And because I work nights and I don't get to, you know, relax in my apartment at night and walk and see the sunset and all that stuff on most nights, um, Friday for me is like, I, I go, I like to go for a walk, watch the sunset, take my camera out, listen to music, sit on my couch, chill, quiet, no talking, no answering to anybody, no, you know, creating anything, no, just keeping my creative energy at bay and just relaxing. So I needed to get away last weekend. I went away, wound up being a huge fail. People were just like, I'm like, I just went and there were so many people that were at my parents' house and it was like, everyone was like nagging me because like I, I, I literally was just like, I want to sit here and not talk. I just want to watch ghost adventures and literally not speak for 24 hours. Like I just was so drained and I was, had all this stress tension and like physical pain, like stress. And everyone was like nagging me and like, Ugh, and, then, and I just snapped. I like completely snapped. And I just, I felt like no one like understood and no one gets me and no one just understood that I needed a break. So whatever. Um, it's fine. I wound up going out and about in a nearby town. I went and got a tarot reading, which was amazing. And actually bought the cards from uh, the cards that the woman uses. I, the accurate, the accuracy of the reading was spot on 100%. And ironically, the first part, the first card that she pulled uh, was this lighthouse, which she started talking about symbolizes uh, the need to be alone and being alone. And I was like, oh, that's literally what I want to do all weekend. So it was a really good reading. Um, did someone just fall? These are the cards, actually. I bought the pair, and there's like, this is actually... Speaking of design, um, this is a really cute package. I don't know if you guys can see the, yeah, you can probably see the gold foiling on it. And then it's magnetic, so it opens here, you know, and just clamps, um, opens up. This is like a little tiny baby book. And then those are the cards in there. So I'm gonna read that and I actually really wanna, um, what I love about tarot is like, I don't know if you guys are into spiritual shit, but Tarot reminds me a lot of dreams, like the symbolism that you see in your dreams. And I think that that has a huge, uh, provides a deep look into someone's subconscious of like what their worries and their fears and their dreams are and their passions are. And the tarot cards, you know, like your energy shuffles them and picks them. I don't know. That could be a whole other video. Maybe I'll start, you know, I'll be a magician and not a magician. Um, I'll be a spiritual reader 
Actually, though, I do read. I do like to analyze people's dreams. I don't see this is like <laughs> this is. I feel like I'm rambling now. First of all, um, and I feel like I lost complete track of any kind of flow in my story, which plays exactly into the problems that I've been having the past two weeks. Is that you know I'm I'm a designer. I did these like nails. Ooh. My fridge just screeching. Um, the tarot cards like fascinated the hell out of me. And I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. I want to read up on this. I want to learn about it. The camera thing, I'm like, oh, a blurry background would be nice. And then there I go watching an hour worth of tutorials and fucked my camera settings up. Got a new iPhone camera, was out playing and testing and trying new things and trying all these new apps. Girl, that could be a video too. I could do like, you know, T. Kyle's camera, best iPhone camera apps and like how I edit my photos. I'm, this is, this is, it, my problems are manifesting themselves in the video where I'm talking about the problems I'm having. So what is the solution? There is a solution here. We're gonna work, we're gonna talk through it. What do I do in every single situation that I'm in, any problem that I'm in, any difficult situation that I'm in, I stop, I pause, I find the silver lining. The silver lining here is that my brain still works. <laughs> I have smashed my head three times in my life, very serious accidents, one of them causing a really bad concussion, but I didn't crack my skull and my brain works. So I am grateful that my brain still works and I can sit here and tell you guys these stories and remember things and whatever. Silver lining, we found the silver lining. Solution, I think I need to prioritize things. And I, I think maybe, and if you guys have ideas, Please, these, this is actually ideas that I would love to hear from people because the way I normally will work, it's like if I get an idea for something random that'll just take me an hour, I'll just hop on the, the computer and do it, post it, whatever. But with stuff like this, like the nail wraps for Halloween, you know, we did these in the summer. So we, I did them in the summer. They, you know, got printed and they ran through tests and color tests and then they went to market in the beginning of October, which by the way, I will link below to buy these if you are interested. If not, check, I mean, this company is amazing. They, like the designs are incredible. There's so many other designs, but um, anyway, back to the solution here. For YouTube here, my weekend chats are spontaneous, but for my monthly favorites, I prep in advance. For the Britney video that I want to do for Blackout, I would obviously prep in advance. Um, yeah, I mean, some of these new videos and ideas that I have, I want to prep in advance. So it's like, I, I guess I just need to make a calendar and literally time shit out. And because I was going to film a lot last week and I would wake up and I would be ready to go. And if you heard, if you watched my story where I talk about the, how I got suspended from Twitter, the school next door kicked in, like they start, they went out for recess, like re literally right at the end of my chat. And they were out there for five hours after that. And so I was like sitting there waiting and I'm like, okay, well I could film right now. And I had my stuff set up. And then by the time six o'clock rolled around, I was like, you know, I, sh fuck, like I have stuff to do. Like I have other things that I, that I'm doing. Like I was trying to catch up with people and you know, oh. one day if I ever get to 10,000 subscribers, which will be, I don't know, in 10 years from now, um, I can use the YouTube space here in New York. If in 10 years from now, New York is not underwater. Um, and then I'll have a soundproof room that I could film in. Um, that would be ideal. I don't know. I hope I wasn't just rambling. I feel like this video was kind of a vent session for me, which venting is good, but it's always good to 
you know, want to find a solution. That was another thing that I, I was dealing with this past weekend was like, I can listen to people. I'm like, I love to listen to problems. I love to listen to, to people's like struggle, like not struggles, but like things they're going through. I love to listen and then analyze and then help them find solutions and stuff. Like I love to do that. It's like, it's problem solving. I love problem solving. I love analyzing dreams. I love helping people solve their problems. Um, that's, I think that's why I'm so interested in doing this whole tarot thing because I feel like it could be really cool. Um, just in terms of like symbolism and I don't know, I find it very fascinating. So I just have low tolerance for people who refuse to find solutions and like, like vent, let it out, figure out what's going on and then like solve it. Not vent, vent, vent but this, but this, but this, but this, but you know, like, you know, those kind of people who are just like, yeah, but this, oh yeah, but like, that's not, oh, I know, but like that, you know what I'm saying? I hope I wasn't like that today. I feel like I, I let it out. Then I'm like, I figure out the roadmap moving forward. So roadmap moving forward here is unfortunately, you know, YouTube is not high priority for me. So I, I think I do need to prioritize my schedule and YouTube's obviously on the lower end of the spectrum just because it's not, you know, that's what I'll do is I think what the solution here is to just go through everything and just write everything out. And then I don't know, maybe I'll do like some note cards or something or color code and just color code by priority level and then you know, schedule it out because the one thing that is also a silver lining is that we are approaching November and December, which are my least favorite times of the entire year. I hate the holiday season. Well, I want, let me rephrase that. I want to enjoy, I want to like the holiday season for various reasons that I will not talk about on here. I find the holiday season to be absolutely miserable. So, and I, I try every year to like not have it be miserable and it always fails. And I, so I just, I'm, I like to stay busy. So this year I'm not, I'm, I'm trying to stay busy this year. So that is the one thing that's good is that I have plenty of stuff that I want to do that I want to work on. I have another big project that I want to launch in January, <laughs> which is sooner than I think it is, and I need to really double down on it. But um, yeah, I really just need to prioritize shit. I need to figure out a schedule and, and literally just time shit out by the hour, I think. Uh, kind of like how I do, I mean, I do schedule this out. I, I tell myself to get the camera on by 11 a.m. and get it up and on online by 2 p.m. So I usually film for about 30 minutes ish. And then I save the footage, export, like import the footage, chop it down, watch it back, save it, which takes like 30 to 40 minutes and then upload it, you know, whatever. So maybe I just need to do that. Schedule everything out, prioritize, you know, I don't know, girl. My phone like keeps vibrating in my lap. It's confusing. I'm I'm kind of I think I'm liking this phone by the way. I'm I'm adjusting to the size of it. Like it's it is pretty big. Like you can see I've got like baby hands. Um it is pretty big, but the camera is phenomenal. Like I and I'll if you guys link below to my Instagram, um you'll see this like photo I took last night in Times Square, which <laughs> A, pr a homeless pregnant woman tried to fight me, by the way, literally like minutes after I took, like not even minutes, seconds after I took this batch of photos. Um, I went to Times Square because obviously there's like, it was night, a lot of color, a lot of light. I wanted to see like how well the camera would do in comparison to my old phone and the kind of detail that it would get. And it, I mean, the colors are phenomenal. The detailing is phenomenal. And um, so I was standing there in the middle of the road and like, I'm not in anyone's way. Like I'm standing there like this 
and this woman just bumped into me and just tr like started screaming at me like that, like, you want to fight? You want to fight? And I was just like, no, I want to fucking take my Instagram picture and go home, bitch. Like literally I'm like listening to Glory and all of a sudden I just like, you want to fight? Oh, I can't. Anyway, never a dull moment, ladies. Okay, well, I'm rambling and I feel like I got... I feel like I covered everything for this week. I think I wanted to let you guys know what was going on because obviously the YouTube, I mean, the good news is another silver lining. Once it gets cold out in December and January, the school next door stops going outside for like recess and like after school and everything, which is, there's like a certain time of year where just they kind of stop going outside. Then... I will take full advantage of it. I should have taken more advantage of it this summer. I mean, I kind of did with my gaming videos because the gaming videos use a mic that is much more sensitive than this one and like really couldn't film with, um, I've got like a mic over here by my camera that, that is uh, super sensitive that I do for VO. But yeah, um, I'm rambling. Let me know if you guys have any ideas for like, are there, app, are, there, are there any apps out there that, like, let you, like, a task manager, prior, priority managing task thing that let you set, like, high, low, medium? I don't know. Maybe that's, maybe that's an app I can create. I, girl, I need to stop. I need to stop thinking of anything because I, the last thing I need is more ideas to be flooding my brain. So I'm going to, ooh, quick reflexes, bitch. Almost dropped my brand new phone. Um, okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna save this, edit this. We're gonna get this online. Um, and I will see you guys. What is today? Oh, I've got an extra week on that. Perfect. Okay, so not next Tuesday, but the Tuesday after that, the 31st, is when I'm aiming for. Oh, but that's perfect. Then I can film next weekend. Oh, see, here we go. I need to, I need to get better with my schedule. Look, I solved my own problems. Okay, so the 31st is the 10 year anniversary of the most iconic album, probably in all of music history, Blackout. And I wanna do a video for it. And I think what I wanna do is I wanna do a track by track discussion where I just, where we just discuss all the songs and also obviously talk about the demos as well. And I think that'll be, I mean, I could talk about Britney Spears all fucking day and night, every day of the freaking year. I could turn anything into a Britney Spears reference and that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about Blackout on its 10 year anniversary. And then also my October favorites. I already know what I'm gonna talk about in my October favorites. Um, so that I will need to get up as well. <sighs> what a beautiful day. Ugh. Oh, one of my friends just texted me. He just watched my video from yesterday and is sending me the name of someone who is a content stealer because that's what we were talking about a little bit yesterday was people who steal content and still have millions of followers and never get suspended from Twitter like I did, though. Um, we don't need to name names right here. Okay, I'm going to go. Bye guys, I hope I made sense and I will see you guys soon with a new video. Subscribe below. You can hit the little bell icon if you want a notification when my weekend chats go live. Um, I just started doing that with people that I follow because in the YouTube app, I feel like I don't see everyone that I'm subscribed to and there's certain people that post videos that I'm like, I need, I need to know the second you go live with your video. So. If you hit the little bell, you'll get a notification when my weekend chats go live. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon with a new video. Bye guys. It's Britney, bitch. Shake your tits. Dunkin' Donuts.